Pickles. Pickles. There's so many things you can do with a pickle. You've got your bread and butter, you got your dill, you got pickle spears, whole pickles, little gherkins, but no one really talks about a sweet and spicy pickles. Hello, welcome to Register for Dinner, and I'm Sebastian Register, and if you guessed it, today it's all about the pickle, so stay tuned. Before we dive too far into the world of pickles, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below, hit that little notification bell, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the RFD game. But without further ado, let's get started. At the end of the day, probably the most crucial and important part of making a pickle is the brine. Makes sense, right? I mean, at the end of the day, your pickle is only really going to taste as good as the brine tastes. So before you get started pickling any of your items, you're really going to want to make sure that you master the brine. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I have two cups of white distilled vinegar. I'm going to go ahead and pour that into my pot. I have three fourths of a cup of water. Next, you'll be adding three fourths of a cup of white granulated sugar, three tablespoons of kosher salt, one and a half tablespoons of whole black peppercorn, one tablespoon of mustard seed, and four hot chilies. That I'm gonna cut a little slit into. You wanna cut a slit into your Thai chilies because that helps extract some of the heat and some of the natural flavors. Now Thai chilies are very hot. You don't have to use four like I'm using. It all depends on how spicy you want your brine to be. Or if you don't want it spicy at all, leave out the Thai chilies. But I'm gonna take this and move this over to my brine. Give it a nice mix. And you're just gonna boil this until the sugar, the salt all dissolves. And then your brine is ready. Your brine is finally ready, so I went ahead and turned off the heat and I'm gonna let it cool down to room temperature. But without further ado, let's talk about the cucumber for a second. There's a lot of variations of cucumbers out there, from your English cucumbers to your normal cucumbers, but the ones that I'm using are in fact called a pickling cucumber. Reason being is they're short, they're fat, and they have less seeds, but more meat. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and slice them into pickle chips. I have here a serrated blade, and if you're bougie like me, you can use these. I picked it up at my local Asian store, but you can use a regular knife, it's totally fine. And I wanna cut them into relatively thick pickle chips. And the reason being is as they're starting to pickle, they're gonna remain uh, crunchy, and a nothing better than a crunchy pickle. Now that your pickle chips have been formed, it's time to transfer them over into your jar. You can use really any sort of jar, um, as long as it's glass, so if you have a mason jar, that works perfect, but you can also even use an old pickle jar. And then I'm gonna take three garlic cloves that I went ahead and lightly mashed, and that's just to release some of the aromas and flavors of the garlic. Add that into your jar, and then now you wanna tightly pack your pickle chips into the jar. But leave a little bit of room at the top, and that's just so that when you're pouring in your brine, you don't cre uh, create a mess all over your countertop. So this should be good. And now that my brine has cooled down, it's time to add it to the jar and start the pickling process. You're gonna to wanna to let these pickle for at least 24 hours, but honestly, the longer they sit, the better. And these can be stored up in your fridge for upwards of six months. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these, place them into my refrigerator. And after about three days or so, they should look something like this. Now, Let's test out that crunch factor, shall we? Now that's a crunchy pickle. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and learning a little bit about the pickle. Once again, my name is Sebastian Register and this is Register for Dinner. If you enjoyed today's video and can't wait for us to cook something else up, make sure you smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe. But until next time, stay hungry my friends.